This quick guide video explains how to record and analyse an EABR. The EABR procedure consists of nine simple steps. Firstly, ensure there is a connection between the eclipse and the cochlear implant stimulator via the trigger cable. Secondly, ensure that the cochlear implant stimulator is connected to the patient's implant. Thirdly, start up both the evoke potential software and the software provided by the implant manufacturer. Next, ensure the patient is connected properly with the appropriate electrode montage. In the Eclipse EP software, select the protocol EABR External Trigger from the drop-down menu on the test screen. After this, select the test ear and the cochlear implant electrode band for testing. The cochlear implant software will only stimulate one electrode band per time in EABR mode. When ready, press the start button. The Eclipse will wait for the implant software to send the trigger signal before recording begins. Follow the instructions provided by the implant manufacturer to start sending the trigger signal to the Eclipse and the electrical stimuli to the patient. Lastly, collect an adequate number of sweeps to see a clearly defined waveform. Once the EABR from one cochlear implant electrode band has been recorded, it is time then to analyse the recording. Waveforms can be marked from the Record or the Edit tab. Ensure you have selected the waveform which you wish to mark. Next, select the waveform marker you wish to plot and then move the mouse over the selected waveform. A left click on the mouse marks the waveform. The waveform markers CR and RA can be used to represent a clear response or response absent EABR waveform. When the waveforms have been correctly marked, select the next cochlear implant band to test. Often recording from four electrode bands in total is enough to provide the electrical threshold across all cochlear implant electrode bands. This concludes this quick guide video on how to record and analyse the EABR.